fam. How you doing? It's been a minute. This is actually my first recording of the year. So yeah, it's been a minute and I, it's been too long. It's been too long, fam. Better late than never. So fam, um, whenever I go through these like little hermit phases, it, I realize that it's harder to come, like the longer I stay away, the harder it is to come back. It's like I start feeling nervous or getting a little anxiety. But then when I get out here, I don't know if it's the nature or my soul or what, when I start recording, I'm like, what nervousness, what anxiety? The mind, or should I say the mind of an air sign, because you know how we do. We be in here, we be doing the most in there, right? So fam, um, it's 2-22-2022. And this is Divine Harmony 22. So how could I not? How could I not record, right? I had to do it, I had to shake it off and get back out here. So today's video is about love and healing, spiritual love and healing, because this is the year of love, right? So that's how we'll start it. Lynn already blew the hat off my head earlier. So fam, um, my year started off with a bang, very intense, not in a bad way, in a good way, but what I learned about myself is that I still have healing to do on a deeper level. Like, um, I've come a long way with healing, just like I'm sure many of you have. We've come a long way and we feel like we've healed. But a lot of times we're left with trauma from the past and we don't even realize that it's there until we're put in a situation where something triggers us and then we realize that we have some some, heat, some more healing to do, trust issues and things like that. So, um, for example, let's say you were in a relationship, whether it's a friendship, romantic, whatever. Let's say you were in a relationship with someone and the relationship ended due to, uh, let's say someone betrayed your trust. And you know, you went through a lot of pain and hurt from that. Now, let's say you've healed from that, you forgave them, you forgave yourself, you've... <laughs> Don't laugh. It's a bug on my lip. I guess I shouldn't wear lip gloss out here. Anyway, let's say um, you forgave the individual who hurt you, you moved past it, you're, you're, you forgave yourself, you've healed, you feel like you're good and you know, you're ready to just go on with your life or whatever. And so you feel like you're good, but then you meet someone who actually reminds you of something, you know, of that pain that you went through. So therefore it triggers you and you may sabotage future connections because of the fact that you are still holding on to that level of, uh, of pain that you have where your trust was betrayed, you know, like where you were hurt. You're still, it's still there. There's still some kind of leftover trauma from going through that and when you still have that there and you're not healed you then sabotage future connections that's that level of that deeper level of healing that you need so that you are not sabotaging future connections due to the past so um, spiritual love has a lot to do with our spiritual connections. And um, 
some of these connections are here to go through life with us, you know, learn with us, grow with us, heal with us. And some of these connections are here to just teach us lessons for us to learn from. Some of these connections are here for us to have children in these connections and create life. Some are here to help us heal from childhood issues or, you know, abuse and past relationships and past life and you name it. That's what makes them spiritual connections. They have a deeper meaning or deeper reason. Some of these connections are here to teach us how to love and teach us what true love really is. And number one, to teach us how to love ourselves because that's number one. That's what these connections are here for. And at the same time, even though some of them are here for, you know, for our, you know, our good, our highest good, getting there doesn't mean that we're not going to go through some kind of pain or, you know, issues. Because not all of these spiritual connections are high vibrational or very positive or very healthy not all connect or not all spiritual connections are that way but it's still here to teach you a lesson but you have to make the choice to learn the lesson you got to make the choice to actually learn from it you know something i noticed and this is men and women right i've noticed this about quite a few people a lot of people hold on to connections for all the wrong reasons and i'm not even talking about the people who are involved with people single people are doing it too a lot of single people hold on to certain connections for all the wrong reasons and reasons being so they can have somebody to have sex with when they get in the mood so they can have somebody to get something from if they need it, whether it's financial, material, whatever, so that they'll just have somebody to deal with when they're bored. There's people that are doing that. And you're still not setting yourself up for any kind of healthy connection if that's what you're doing. So fam, if any of you are single and you are holding on to people that you know you don't even see a future with, you know how you, you some of you may meet people, and I know men and women that both do this, and it's like, you don't really see any future with them. You know that they're not here for your greatest good. You know they're not. But you hold on to them because you're bored. There's a lot of people doing that. And you're already starting. If you, if you do want some kind of healthy connection, you're already starting it off on the wrong foot because you're starting off like you're not good in your own energy. It's a sign of weakness when you feel like you have to hold on to something so that you can't be without sex or without money or without boredom or whatever. Like you're starting it off on the wrong foot when you start like that. You have to be good within your own energy. Many of us and our... <laughs> healing empathic asses we continue to attract people that need healing and then our ass end up needing some healing afterwards right but <laughs> for many of you who are who do want some sort of healthy connection in your future then you have to work on being healthy within yourself right now and that means letting go of the things that are, there's no future in it. Don't keep, don't keep people around to use them. Keep in mind, fam, what you put out is what you get back. And it comes in all kind of ways sometimes. Not even exactly the way you gave it out. It'll come back in a different way. What you put out is what you get back. So you're still using somebody if you're keeping them around just because you're bored you know it's kind of like a codependent type of thing where you just feel like you need to have somebody 
So get out of that energy, fam. Let's start. Let's start. Well, the new year, the new year's already started, but this is the year of love. So let's let's start it right. Let's continue it right, and let's let go of what we don't need. Okay. You gotta make room for good stuff. If you're holding on to something that doesn't match its vibration, then how is it gonna get there? That's all I'm saying. That's all I have to say about that. Anyway, fam. Oh, it's a ladybug. Oh, oh, pretty. That's good luck. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna end the video. So that's really all I had to say, fam. Just a quick little something, something. I just, I wasn't gonna record, but I just, it's 2.22.22. So I had to do it. Um, I wanna make another um, Ascension Symptoms video because I had a really strange little event. Um, and I'm gonna make that a separate video to do that. But um, I'm done, fam. Just wanted to holler at y'all right quick. Thanks for joining me once again. I'll see y'all next time. Peace and blessings.